Hello, it's Melanie. Welcome to Monday morning message number six. And I'm talking about balance. And I know there's lots of advice about finding balance in all areas of your life. But specifically, I'm talking about finding balance when you're trying to deal with the death of your child. And I think there's two areas that people kind of struggle with finding balance. And the first one is trying to find some balance between taking care of yourself and taking care of all of the other people in your life who need you. I know when Garrett died, our other kids were six and four, you know, ages that required a lot of our energy at a time when we really didn't have any. Our daughter went through a phase where she was afraid to be at school without us. And so I spent many hours sitting on a tiny chair in the back of the grade one classroom just to trying to find, find her some comfort. And then I spent a lot of hours crying in the parking lot of her school because I just didn't know how I was going to do it. And someone reminded me of the analogy of the airplane oxygen masks. You know, whenever you take a flight, you're instructed that the oxygen mask will fall, put your own mask on before you try to help someone else. And I think this situation is similar in that I needed to take care of me a little bit before I was able to take care of her. And once I realized that, I was able to just take 10 minutes for a walk, 10 minutes for a cup of tea, have a bath, so that I could find some peace and then I was able to give to her a little bit. I know your situation may be very very different. You may have grown children who are needing you. You may have your child's friends who are needing you. But I think the analogy works that way also. You need to find a way to take care of you um, before you're giving all of the energy you have to somebody else. And I think the other place that we need to find balance is a balance between our grief and our sadness and our peace and our happiness. And I know in the beginning, it is so unbalanced and our grief and our sadness outweigh the happy so much. So I think a, a lot of times it has to become a deliberate act that we look for something to provide us some calm and peace, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day. You know, like I said, take a walk. Um, call someone on the phone. Music was my go-to lots of times and still is. But I think if we deliberately try to find a few minutes during the day, eventually our happiness will start to outweigh the sad and we will be better. If you have an idea about finding balance, post it in the comments. It might be the message that someone needs to hear today. Thank you for being here. I will talk to you next week.